From a historical perspective, the Quran either lied or got it wrong. Because you said that Jesus didn't the Quran lie, lied. or he got it okay, wrong. Let's just, say, let's just say what you're saying, yeah? Yeah. You're saying John 1-1, one, one, where it says that Jesus was the word. In the beginning was God, the word, right? and the word was with God. Yeah. And the word, yeah. Who's John? Who's Paul? Who is Paul? Right, Paul was an Hebrew Israelite. That's who Paul was. He was a persecutor of the early church. In other words, Paul in the first century was like a Muslim. He didn't like the Christians. He was attacking them, saying that they're idolaters yeah. and that they're worshipping a man who was God. He was a nasty piece of work. Yeah. Just like Muslims are. Let's be honest. I'm going to be real now. Okay, now you just got offensive no, on no, that. No, no, no. Muslims are, and correct me if I'm wrong, Allah is Almighty. Can Allah do all things? Is he all powerful? Of course you can. can. Right, so then how can you ask me the question, how can he do three things at once? about it. If somebody is almighty and can do all things, he can do three things at once. Muslims say that God is almighty, yeah. but when we look at the detail yeah. of that almightiness, God is not almighty at all. Because you'll say that God is almighty and then you God. He's the son of God. So who's what does son of God mean? Wait, wait, no, no. You said son of God. So who's the son of God? So who's the son of God? Yeah, exactly, yeah. He's the son of the father. Who's the father? But you said Jesus God. is the father. So the, but Jesus, so it's like yeah. a little triangle so, like so, Okay, so what are you not understanding? Tell me what you're not understanding. That's what I want to know. How can Jesus be the father no, no, if he's the son no, of yeah, the yeah. father? How can the Jesus... No, no, speak to yourself. Yeah, yeah, I am, I am. How can Jesus be the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit? All in one. Okay, let me ask you. Why can't he? I'll tell you why, in an answer. I'll tell you why. Why can't he? Because God sits at the right I'll tell you why. Because God is all powerful. So you know what Almighty means? You say, are you Muslim? Yeah. See, Muslims use a lot of words about God, saying how great Allah is. But when you get into the detail, they don't really think Allah is that great at all. Because you say, you say, you say Allah is Almighty. He's just, he can do all things. Hold on, no, no, let me finish. This is one. No, just. I'm just trying to just infer what we think, what we believe. No, I'm going to prove it, though. I'm going to prove it. Go and prove it, though. Right. Muslims say, and correct me if I'm wrong, Allah is Almighty. Can Allah do all things? Is he all powerful? Of course you can. Right, so then how can you ask me the question, how can he be three things at once? That's what you just asked me. If somebody is almighty and can do all things, he can do three things at once. He the can Father, be, the Son, and the Holy be, Spirit. Yeah, why can't he? That's what, it comes under almighty. No, it's not. That's God not, is on his own. God, no, okay, in the Quran, in the Quran, it also says that God is on his own. No, there's no relation to God. No, that's oh. not what it says. No, it says that the right, so then your almighty has limits. When you say Allah is almighty, no, it has no limits. limits. But he does. He's on his own. He does. He does. He does. He does. No, but he does. My dad is my dad, my and I'm his son, oh. right? Hold on, let's try yeah? reason a bit. I know you said no, no, no. that. We have no relation. Okay. No, I know you. Okay, I understand that. Yes. I know I you said that. that. How are you arguing? Right, this is why. Right. 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 No, no, no. I, no. You, you, it. How you, you, don't, you don't know what I'm understanding. But you said you understood it. You don't know what I mean. What am I understanding? Is you, under, you just why said you understood it. What am I understanding? Yes or no? You said I understand. What am I understanding though? Yes or no? You said I understand. What do I mean I understood? You say I understand. What do I mean I understood? Right, let's carry on. He said you let him answer, then I answer. So God is Almighty. Muslims say that God is Almighty, but when we look at the detail yeah. of that almightiness, yeah. God is not almighty at all. Yeah. Because you'll say that God is almighty, and then you'll immediately say you can't do stuff. Yeah. That's not almighty. That's almighty, that's right. almighty. He says that in the Quran, that we say that God is almighty, and the greatest, yeah? Fact, that's true, yeah? But the Quran also said that Jesus is not the son of God. And very, exactly. And very well aware. So, the Quran so how does that make him not almighty? The Quran lied. The Quran lied. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen. You said the Quran lied, so, you had no evidence for it. Well, I have. You said there's no evidence for it. I do have evidence. So, what's evidence? Okay, let's go to um, um, Surah 4, 157. It's where like Jesus was killed. Yeah? Right. Surah 417, so that Jesus wasn't killed, yeah? It wasn't Jesus that was killed on the cross, it was someone else. And anybody that says so are just conjuncturing. That's what it says, doesn't it? Well, and you heard that? I'm not sure I'm not sure. 417. I'll check the verse. I'll check the That's the most important one. Did you know that one? The most important. I'll check, I'll check, the most important. I'll check, I'll check okay, check it. So, Surah 417 said that Jesus wasn't crucified. See, he, he got an issue with me saying that the Quran lied. I'm saying the Quran lied, not as an insult, from a historical perspective, the Quran either lied or got it wrong. Because you said that Jesus didn't lie. The Quran lied. Or he got it okay, wrong. Okay, let's just say what you're saying, yeah? Yeah. But you're saying John 
one one where it says that Jesus was the word, word of God. The word, right? the word was with God. Yeah. Word, yeah. Who's John? Who's Paul? But you're changing the subject now. I'm not okay, but, but, it's the same thing. But who they are? Uh, uh, no, no. Okay. I'm, 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 you're saying to me that. Who they are? You're, okay, okay, okay. you're saying to me that Paul and lied, right? But I'm saying to you, but in your, G, in your Bible. You have no evidence for it. It's just words. It's evidence. just words. But, no, it's but, not. But my friend, who's John, who's Paul? There, is, there is evidence. Let's talk about what happened with Jesus. Is there anybody in the Muslim world that saw Jesus when he was on earth? Is there any Muslim in, back at the time who saw Jesus, the human Jesus, who saw the prophet? Did any Muslim see him when he was on earth? Yeah. Who? Which one? No, Jesus. I mean Jesus. Yeah. No Muslim saw Jesus. No, remember, Jesus is not God. That's what you're trying to get no, to. No, 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 he said to me, how, how have anyone seen Jesus in the, in the Quran? Where have they? You're questioning God, but I'm telling you, I'm questioning the people in the Bible. Okay, that's fine. We can both question. We'll change the subject. We'll we can both question. What well, the subject is... No, the subject is... Okay, let's answer the question. You, no, the question who is... Who are these John and the Paul? John, Paul and all right, these... They're, they're why people, are they reliable? They're, right, good question. Thank you. Can I answer? Oh, yes. Right, the reason why these, these people are reliable... Yeah. Simon Peter, John, James, is because they were there, they lived with Jesus. Paul, they yeah. were today, Paul, no, not Paul, Paul didn't live with Jesus. Paul. But no, did Muhammad. What's your point? But, but no, did Muhammad. No, 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 no. So what's the point? I'm answering you. No, I'm answering. Let me finish the answer. Let's take it one at a time. Let's do it one at a time. No, no. I said everyone in the Bible. Why are you letting people go? Twelve disciples. Twelve disciples. No, what? I didn't let Paul go. He said to me, John, Peter. I'm not letting Paul. I'm not letting Paul. Can I answer? Go and answer them. Right, thank you. Are you going to interrupt me? Are you going to interrupt me? When you, yeah, answer, you don't answer the question, I'm going okay, to Okay, right, you. right. First of all, there's 12 disciples. They're the ones that lived with Jesus and saw Jesus, not Paul. We'll get to Paul. But you talked about witnesses. You said who was John and Simon. And then I said Paul. I said Paul as well. Right. I said Paul Because you thought it's a good argument. That's why you said no, it. No, I never. But first, I of, said all, Paul from the first of all, let's start with the 12 disciples. Mark and John and all these people. These are the disciples. They were eyewitnesses. They were eyewitnesses of Jesus. They lived with him. Now my question to you is, who in the Muslim world saw Jesus when he was on earth? That's not the question. I said to him, no, is John Paul is that now? Yeah. Like, the, reason, your criteria. the reason why I'm asking Jesus? that is, okay, if there's uh, nobody, you are, you are, the reason why I'm asking, if there's nobody in the Muslim world that saw Jesus, they have no authority to speak on him. Who's you can't John speak on, Paul you can't, and why are they reliable? You can't speak why is that not reliable? You can't speak. Why is he reliable? Hold on, no, no, one second, one second, one second, one second, I'll get to you, I'll get to you. How can you speak on him? I'm not speaking on him, I'm talking about the eyewitnesses. The eyewitnesses, the eyewitnesses, the eyewitnesses. Yeah, John, who was even there? No, 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 no. Right, okay, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I'm dealing with the eyewitnesses. Who yeah. went Boone? Boone wasn't there. I'm not talking to you anymore, I'm talking to the camera. Who ladies and gentlemen, there, I'm dealing with the eyewitnesses. Unsubscribe, he's lying to There were 12 you. eyewitnesses, yeah? Who were there? They saw Jesus when he was on earth. Today, we were calling Jesus his mates, his flatmates. They moved with him, hanged around with him, ate together, prayed together, worshipped together, did whatever it is. These are the eyewitnesses. Yeah. And now you've got the Quran that comes 600 years later and say that all the eyewitnesses were lying. Like, Paul. Let's, let's, make Paul. Sense. let's make sense Who's of this. Paul. Let's make sense Who's of somebody Paul. coming 600 Who's years Paul. later. Who's let's Paul. make sense of someone turning up on the scene 600 years later and saying that the people that were there at the time were lying. This is what's going on. Who's Paul? So you're saying, to, now let's get to Paul. Paul, yeah, wasn't around when Jesus was around. So how can you believe what he was right. Well, I can ask you the same question. Muhammad also wasn't around. Why should I believe what he said? Because he has yeah. the word of God. Oh, please. <laughs> this is perfect. This is absolutely absurd. Yeah, sorry. Well, yeah, well, 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 so we have the Sahaba, and they recorded the life of the Prophet. There you go. And there's a Hadith. And in Islam, we have something called the science of Hadith, whereby uh, each Hadith about the Prophet is basically narrated. So you have the Sahaba, well, the and that Sahaba was the sign of to the Tabi'in, and then the Taba Tabi'in. And that's basically gone to the 9th century, I think, and when it was all compiled together. So we actually have, we all have, uh, first, like, we all have uh, first-hand accounts of the Prophet 
and his existence. That's right, I'm not questioning that. No, that's fine. I'm talking about Jesus, though. I'm saying that there's nobody in the Muslim world that can that are eyewitness to Jesus. Now, you choose not to believe the eyewitnesses. You say that all the people that saw Jesus are lying. That's what, not you. That's what Muslims say. Islam said that all the, Islam said that all the people that saw Jesus are lying. They're saying they got it wrong. That's what Islam is saying. Why are you talking and about Jesus for? And so now, what I'm saying is, so I'm saying, and now, and now he's, got an, he's got an issue with right. Paul because he's saying that. Who was it? You said to me, your whole point and fact, your whole point and your evidence. You're just showing that you no, don't no, have no, an argument. No, 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 no,